The brain, made up of 86 billion neurons, is intricately wired to support everything, from basic functions like breathing to more complex activities, like enjoying a Science First video. Over the past few decades, we've made tremendous strides in understanding how these neural networks work on a large scale. One of the most significant advances is in brain mapping, the process of creating detailed representation of the brain's structure and activity, focusing on neural connections, regions, and their roles in cognition and behavior. But what if we could take this a step further? Could brain mapping eventually allow us to upload our consciousness? Our thoughts and memories reside in the neocortex, the outermost layer of the brain responsible for higher order functions such as sensory perception, cognition, and memory. Estimates suggest that there are about 20 billion neurons in the neocortex, each with around 7,000 synaptic connections, amounting to roughly a trillion synapses for every cubic millimeter of cortex. Recently, scientists unveiled the most detailed map of a tiny chunk of brain tissue, smaller than a grain of rice, which required about a million gigabytes of data to create. If mapping a fraction of the brain requires this much computational power, what would it take to map an entire human mind? Would it be possible to recreate every neural connection, every synapse, and every firing pattern in a way that preserves identity? We're getting closer each day thanks to advancements in both hardware, like Neuralink's electrodes, which have thousands of channels capable of recording vast amounts of brain activity with better detail than before, and software, such as improved machine learning algorithms that decode neural signals. While brain mapping has already proven invaluable in medicine, it also raises profound questions. If we could map every detail of the human brain, would it be possible to transfer thoughts, memories, and even consciousness into a digital form? The technology isn't there yet, but the pieces are starting to fall into place. What do you think? Could we one day store and transfer our thoughts like data? Stay tuned for more science videos.